welcome guys to another tutorial today we will be jumping in um, so I can show you guys how to send your ISC bind DNS server logs into QLittle it's pretty straightforward um, so what you the first step you want to do is to go ahead and configure syslog on your ISC bind device to forward these events to QLittle so for us to achieve this we're gonna um, type in the command you can use any text editor to open this file so we're going to have to make changes to the named.conf file so you can either use nano or bi um, I actually have my ISC bind server installed on Ubuntu and it comes with nano so I'm going to use nano um, etc bind named.conf. If you're using VI, it's going to be the same command, but you substitute nano for VI. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once you do that in your um, names.conf file, you should only have this in there. Um, for me, I have all this other stuff because I have it configured already to send these logs to QReader. So I have a link in the description below of an IBM documentation that shows you the parameters that you need to put in here. So I'm going to pause this video at this point and I will take us to the documentation so I can show you what it looks like. At this point, as we can see, this is the documentation to configure ISC bind. Um, to send this syslog events to um, QReader. So you see it wants us to go to the name.conf, which we did. Um, so you're just going to type um, the nano and change to the etc bind directory and open the name.conf file. Um, it has an example of what you all need to put in there as the parameters. Um, so you basically can copy and paste this. This is just how the parameters should look like as you can see most of these are just empty um you have to pick like here um you can change the syslog facility or you can leave it as a uh, default um the severity you can either use critical you might include error if you want error logs you can add all of this if you want um, a little bit of everything um, I have mine actually configured for info because I do want only info logs. I don't want error and warning and notice logs and all that. Um, IBM also did give an example on here. So this is what you can copy and paste into your named.com file. Um, it has login. Um, it's sending this to the syslog, saving it as local three. Uh, severity we're just going to get info um, like I said if you wanted to get one in you're going to put you're going to include that on there um, categories is set to queries and category uh, notify network and client so you can just go ahead and copy from here on to here and paste it into that file So now that you have that copied and pasted in here, you want to do CTRX. It's going to ask you if you want to save, and you're going to do yes if you're using Nano. Um, once you accept that, the next thing we need to do is actually go into um, our um, syslog client in Ubuntu and tell it to send those local tree logs that are being saved from the ISC um, DNS bind 9 DNS server and send it to the syslog server, which is um, QReader in this case. So to do that, we're going to use nano again and go to etcrsyslog.conf. And here in this file, we're gonna go down all to the end of the file And at this point, you're going to put in the syslog facility that you configured. Um, I just went with the default local three. You can always rename that you, um, depending on how you configured the named.conf configuration. 
if you had your syslog facility named to something else you're going to put that on here and once you do that you put a period and asterisk at and you put the site um, the ip address or the host name of your curated appliance and once you do that again you're going to save that and once that is done now we're going to move on to our curator community edition um, ui all right now that we are back into our curator um, community edition user interface you want to log in as administrator and then you will go to um, your log source management if you still have the native log source um, built-in application you're going to click on that um, once you click on that and it opens on the new tab you want to go to add a log source and um, add a log source give it some time for it to open up And once that opens, you're going to put the log source name. So we'll call this um, name server, maybe two or one. And you put in a description, uh, cost that is buying my DNS server. And down here, you want to click that and look for ISC bind. You select that and let it be to syslog. You put the IP address of your ISC bind server here. Okay, so you put the IP address of your ISC bind server, um, you will leave the enable checked, credibility, you leave everything else as default, and then you would hit save. And once you save that, you want to go in and deploy changes. So if you are using the Curator Log Source Management app, the um, steps are the same. So you're going to go in there. And once it opens up, you go to create the new log source, single log source, and look for IC bind. Okay, you select that, you go next. Next, you give it a name, NS1, you give it a description, you can give it a group if you have groups configured, everything else stays the same you give it a log identifier which is an ip address or a host name and finish and once that's done you need to come back on here and deploy changes once he changes a complete deploying you should be able to go into your log activity tab and then at this point you should see some isc bind logs like i do have on here so if we open that, you should see something similar to this. So this is my ISC bind um, DNS server, and you can see it's named NS2 um, client with the IP 192.168.113 is doing a lookup for um, ubuntu.pool.ntp.org, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do please go ahead and like my channel um, you can also hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel to get upcoming videos if you have any questions you can leave it on the comment section below um, you can always send me an email or comments on any more curated community edition videos you might want me to do thank you guys and have a wonderful day